Hey there YouTube, this is Arianwen, and for some reason that I don't quite understand, my workplace receives the Philadelphia Trumpet, which is a right-wing conservative Christian publication, and I get a lot of pleasure out of reading it, so I thought that I would share it with you. Today we're going to read excerpts from the July 2012 cover article, Watch for Mr. Europe, The Secret Plot to Create a Super President. This article is by Trumpet editor Gerald Flurry and it claims to uncover a deadly secret plot to hijack the European Union. We have been prophesying for over 70 years that a strong dictator is about to rule over Europe. You can't prophesy that something is about to happen for over 70 years, because that's not what the words about to mean. We proclaim that he would not be voted in by the public, we have also said for many years that Britain would not be a part of the final European Union. A recently revealed secret plot shows that all of these prophecies are being fulfilled now! Exclamation point. The British Express, a tabloid, printed an article on May 4th titled EU Plot Scrap Britain. That's linked below. Senior Eurocrats are secretly plotting to create a super powerful EU president to realize their dream of abolishing Britain, it began. A covert group of EU foreign ministers has drawn up plans for merging the jobs currently done by the President of the European Council and the President of the European Commission. The new bureaucrat, who would not be directly elected by voters, is to get sweeping control over the entire EU and force member countries into ever greater political and economic union. There may be a few small twists and turns, but this secret plot is going to usher in a fierce dictator. Bible prophecy makes that powerfully clear. The problem with the secret plot is that they don't tell us how they uncovered it. If there was a leaked internal memo or hacked emails or a covertly recorded conversation that took place in a restaurant that the busboy overheard and understood was important and, you know, ran off with it to the British Express, that would be great, but there's none of that. They also don't name any of the participants, which makes me think that they made the whole thing up. The Express Secret plot article continued, Opponents fear the plan could create a modern-day equivalent of the European Emperor envisaged by Napoleon Bonaparte or a return to the Holy Roman Empire of Charlemagne. Euro MP Paul Nuttall of the UK Independence Party, that's UKIP, said, This is a truly ridiculous idea that must never be allowed to happen. It sounds as if they are trying to go back to the days of the Holy Roman Emperor. It is a truly ridiculous idea, Paul. It is. For about 70 years we have been prophesying of the Holy Roman Empire and Emperor soon to appear on the scene. Again, soon, in 70 years. Do not go together. It will be the seventh and last head of that superpower. This very moment that prophecy is coming true. Mr. Nuttall said that this Holy Roman Empire idea must never be allowed to happen, but it can't be stopped because it has God's approval, Revelation 17:17. 17, 17. Our free Daniel booklet explains why, and you desperately need to understand exclamation point. That was all in capital letters because it's very important and very true. So I think that you should all follow the link below to the Trumpet website where you can request not only your free Daniel booklet, but also your free subscription to the Trumpet. That way, the people behind the Trumpet can divert more of their funds to producing literature to entertain us and they'll have less money left over to lobby politicians or support ad campaigns that try to um, get people to vote on legislation that would ban gay marriage. Be a good thing. This resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire is going to be the most destructive force ever on earth. More destructive than the great flood that destroyed everything. That is really effing destructive. It is time for this world to understand what is happening in Europe! Exclamation point. These secret plotters saw the end of the Franco-German Axis coming and moved to help form a German-Italian Axis. Germany and Italy are the first two nations of the ten nations or groups of nations to form the Holy Roman Empire. Germany and Italy have been at the heart of the Holy Roman Empire throughout the ages. When Hitler and Mussolini became allies in World War II, that was the sixth head of the Holy Roman Empire. This new German-Italian axis, including the worldwide power of the Vatican, is a major shift in Europe's direction. 
The secret plot has pushed France aside and Britain out. Now these plotters are working hard to find their strong leader. We believe we may know who he is and who they are seeking to fill that strong man role. We might know, we think we might know, but we're not going to share the information because if we gave you specifics, then later you could come back and tell us that we were wrong. So instead, we're going to give you a really vague description so that no matter who gets elected into this position that no one might ever get elected into, or rather placed into, so they won't be elected, then uh, we can say that we were describing them. It's all happening exactly as we have prophesied for 70 years. It is time for this world to wake up. Those statements both have exclamation points. In World War II, Hitler and Mussolini made Europe and much of the world bleed, but that was only a small dress rehearsal of what is about to occur! Exclamation point! The strongman of Europe could even appear on the scene this year! He could, but we're not going to say for sure, because we have learned from the mistakes of Harold Camping and the Watchtower, and we are not going to give you specifics that could later be refuted and used against us to undermine our prophetic authority. Let's turn to the Bible to see what to expect in the time just ahead. Well, we could, but since you don't actually explain much or prove much, um, we're going to skip that. Anybody who wants to read it can find the article linked below. The spirit of Charlemagne has returned. This king who ruled the First Reich had to wade through a sea of blood to achieve his goal of ruling Europe and establishing Catholicism as the state religion! Exclamation point. Get ready for another sea of blood! Exclamation point. The big question remains unanswered. In the new empire of Charlemagne, who will play Charlemagne? Soon the world will know who the modern Charlemagne is to be. We know already, but we're not going to tell you. You can be sure he will have Germany's stamp of approval. His actions will shock the world far more than the original Charlemagne's. He will lead the world into the greatest sea of blood that humanity has ever seen or even dreamed about! Exclamation point. Daniel 8 doesn't tell us the name of Charlemagne, because if it did, that would, you know, prove that it was true. But it does tell us the kind of man he is going to be, and it is the worst news the world has ever received! Exclamation point. However, it leads directly to the greatest event ever to occur in the universe, the return of Jesus Christ! Exclamation point. How is it bad news if it leads to the return of Jesus Christ? I thought that that's what these Christians wanted. Satan, the god of this world, was the power behind Hitler. Hitler was undoubtedly possessed by the devil. Like Hitler, this end-time vile person could come from Austria, but we don't know for sure. But the power behind him will be the devil, and Germany will be his main tool. This evil man will come in peaceably, or unexpectedly, or without warning. If the EU were left in the hands of the present politicians, Europe would probably never pose a real threat, but they are going to lose control of the political beast. According to Revelation 13, there will also be a religious beast led by a vile person. But the last resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire will burst on the world scene suddenly, without warning. We are the only people who warn the world of God's message! Exclamation point. We must warn Europe that a vile person is going to hijack the powerful European Union! Exclamation point, even though we don't want them to do anything to stop it because it's part of God's plan. We still have to warn them. Then we talk about Daniel and how he wrote about this new leader in prophecy. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences will stand up. This all happens in the latter time. That means today, now! Exclamation point. This vile man becomes a king of fierce countenance, understanding dark sentences. What does that mean? And his power shall be mighty, not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. This is all done not by his own power. He is empowered by the devil! Exclamation point. He is consumed with Satan's thoughts, dark sentences. He destroys wonderfully or mightily with nuclear weapons. No suffering has ever been so bad. But look to the gloriously good news. This very king and his evil system will be destroyed by Christ! Exclamation point. 
then the world will have an all-powerful leader who is love in all capital letters, and he will rule forever. Christ must return at this time, or there would be no flesh saved alive. I repeat, he must return! Exclamation point! Then the saints will be crowned to rule with Christ as his bride. What a mind-staggering, wondrous reward God gives to those who do his work today. There will be only one bride of Christ for all eternity! Exclamation point! What a magnificent future we have! And it's almost here! Exclamation point! Almost here! Just like things are about to happen in 70 years, and just like Christ is about to return, and has been about to return for the last 2,000 years. <sighs> Have a good day, YouTube.